that's another thing most folks don't know. Like, they'll come to me when the trend is over. And I'm like, bro, you got a window. <laughs> man, I was you, gonna ask you. You got a window. You're touching on it. Let's yeah. talk about that window, man. Why is that? Because you've been talking a lot about momentum. It's been yeah. This thing. Like, truly, why is it so important to catch it in that window? You have to because, uh, again, trend, uh, another reason it's called a trend because it ends. It, you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a trend for the moment. And so most most trends are going to run about 45 to 60 days. You know what I mean? That's that's the lifespan of a trend. Um, and in that moment, you have the opportunity to turn that into a hit record. You know what I mean? Um, the thing about it is, like I, like I tell people, there are trends, there are probably, I don't know, 50,000 trends going on right now on TikTok, right? But out of that, how do you take that 50,000 and turn the one you're working on into the number one? You know what I mean? And so I think people think it's easy and it, it's not. It's not like when, with hours and hours, just because it's a trend doesn't make it a number one record. Yeah. Um, Justin Scott Collage, just because it's a trend doesn't make it a number one record. That takes expertise. That takes real know-how. It takes real money. Um, and it takes real networking. And so that's what we've been able to do is we've been able to take those, out of those 50,000 trends, we've been able to take our trend and make it number one multiple times. You know what I mean? And so if you come to me, and this has happened, DJ chose. He came to me when the trend was over. And he actually, he came to me when it was going, but he didn't want to pay my fee. So he put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to pay my fee. I was like, bro, this is what I charge. You know what I mean? And he didn't want to pay. So then when it was dying, he came. He's like, bro, I need you. I was like, well, you, you needed me back then. But I was like, I think I can help now. And fortunate for him and me, because I, I, I was unsure too. I was like, man, maybe we can turn this around. And we were able to turn it around and we ended up taking it gold. You know what I mean? Um, but if he would have came when it was moving, it could be platinum. Who knows? See, that's, you know what I mean? That's what's so important to me because so what I realized working with artists from ground up is yeah. when they experience this big growth, yeah, they it feels amazing. Everything's right. moving right, right, and they're barely touching anything. Some of them actually like get weird and like step back <laughs> from everything and just don't yeah. do anything. Like I've heard people say stuff like, "Man, you know, I, I kept getting all these comments on TikTok." And I just stopped going on TikTok for a while, like all that type yeah. of stuff. But the frustrating thing as someone who's now seen quite a few things is, let's just say I've never done 100K streams before. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, this thing in my mind goes crazy and I'm in like 2 million streams on the yeah. song, right? But you, mm -hmm. Ja'Cory, are like, bro, this should be 50 million streams. Right. But they don't know that in that window is the difference between it being 50 million and maybe 10 million or 20 million, like it's like being in the zone in sports, right? right. It's like, you really got to lock in dollars today. Yeah. You'll get back $20 in this window. Usually you put in five and you only get two back today. You get 20, but yeah. that's not going to happen for, for, but for so long. So like that fee, yeah. Right? If you're going to pay that fee, <laughs> now is the time yeah. to pay it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like you got, you got to catch it. You got to catch it in the moment. It's, it's best to catch it as soon as it starts. Like if it's best to catch it from the very beginning. Um, Cause that makes it easier to find the source. Number one. You know what I mean? Um, Cause finding the source is very important. It's, it's, it's very important to find like what started this. You know what I mean? Um, but catching it from the beginning is best. Um, but definitely just know like after 60 days, it's, it's just about a wrap. You know what so, I mean? Like it's it's very rare that tr trends happen twice. Right. It's very rare. I've seen it, but it's it's extremely rare. What when it comes to like looking for their source, do you have like any special things you use or you just got your team well, scouring the internet? Luck luckily, like um TikToks uh and real search search is, is really good. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it is it comes down to the technology. You know what I mean? Luckily, like the technology is good and it makes it easier to find. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can search like keywords for like so like there's a song, uh, I think it's called Throw It that's going viral, right? But the song is you don't need no beat, you better hype this hype your best up. So I can type in hype your best up yeah. and find it versus having to know the name of the song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like so luckily because their their search engine is so good, it makes it a little bit easier. Let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you and it's completely free.
As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Okay. Gotcha. Before we leave this subject, because, you know, talking about Justine's God at being a TikTok song and obviously mm-hmm. went number one. People have been talking a lot lately, giving all this TikTok slander out, saying that TikTok is it, it, you know, it had its moment, it's done. It's so much harder to break songs, right? Right. In short, my perspective is, right, yes, it it was that for a period of time where things were just happening. The algorithm was open. And And now it's a little bit harder, but it's about doing your job too, right? Yeah. So what's your perspective on TikTok in terms well, of like, yeah, just the, the, the state of TikTok for breaking right. music today? So, yes, you missed a moment. You know what I mean? And I was screaming at I, I was telling everybody, do not miss this moment because I knew it was not going to last. Yep. This is what people have to understand. TikTok is a business just like any other business. Their their initial goal was to attract as many people here as possible. How do I do that? By giving away eyeballs. I give away the views. Meaning that my algorithm is wide open. I'm going to show you to as many people as possible. Now, once you all are here, okay, now it's time to make the money. So now these eyeballs cost. Now you have to spend money. TikTok ads. You know what I mean? So now you're paying for these eyeballs. But with that being said, it is a competition. Who has opened up their algorithm to steal you back from TikTok? YouTube shorts, Instagram reels. Algorithms wide open right now. So it's like if you're paying attention, you just have to... Well, you have to pay attention. Like, so for, for example, I started a TikTok. Uh, I'm sorry, I started a, a Instagram page, family page. December 24th, we are now, what's our date? February 15th, 16th. So about 50 days in. I haven't spent any money. The page had no following. I, I started the page at zero. In the last 50 days, the page has reached 2 million accounts. All I'm doing is posting content. You know what I mean? And it still don't got no followers, just like how TikTok, you don't have to have no followers. All you have to do is post good content and the algorithm is going to make sure it gets seen because they're trying to make you come back from TikTok. Hey, man, come on back over here. We're giving it away. That's what's happening right now. So you just got to pay attention to where they're giving away the audience. And right now that's YouTube shorts and that's and that's reels. Back to music on TikTok. You missed it. You should <laughs> you should have been here when it was popping and we were screaming get on TikTok, but you know us black folks we was like oh they dancing. <laughs> now it's still possible. It's just not as possible. You know what I mean? So it's still there. Like so on, on same token, I I started a family TikTok page too, um and we had two videos. I have a video on there that has four million views. And I have a video on there that has like a quarter million views. So I was still able to get some, some, you know, traction on that page. Um, almost four and a half million views in total on that page. Um, no money spent. And see, the, the thing about that though is like, had I been an artist, all I would have did was put my music inside of that content. And that would, and, and if that, if I had done that, that would mean in the past 50 days to have spent no money, 6.5 million people have heard my music. You know what I mean? And and I tell artists, it's, it's, it's that simple. It's consistency and content. Content consistently. That's all it is. You know what I mean? But also you have to you have to be an artist in the sense of you have to put the music in there indirectly. If I'm just trying to flush the music down their throat, it's going to be a lot harder. But if I'm making good content and indirectly showing them my music in that content, then I have a way better chance of them hearing my music and discovering. Like content is all about discovery. I'm using the content to be discovered. So for me right now, I'm building a family brand. So I'm not selling them anything directly. I'm just showing them my family. I'm introducing them to my family. And in the past 50 days, like I said, about six and a half million people have seen my family. You know what I'm saying? So it's so possible, but don't rely on just TikTok. 
if I had relied on just TikTok, I would have missed the two million people over here on Reels. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So you gotta watch. Yeah, watch yeah. Those. Don't don't rely on just TikTok. You mentioned Justine a couple times. Yeah. And the TikTok and all that stuff. You met, he said something earlier that I wasn't aware of. You said the song first came out in 2014 or yeah, was written the, in 2014? the song was released in 2014. Released. Yeah. Why do you think it started to pop now? Do you think it has something to do with the grownish? Well, well, it, it wasn't that. Um, man, that's a, uh, another lesson I teach artists, bro. Is like you just got to put the energy out there, and and, and as the more energy you put out there, the more possibilities you for, create for the energy to come back. And so, Justine is a great example. Of that K Cam is a good example. Of that. So, I'll, I'll start with Justine. Song came out in 2014, right? The reason that it has popped again, the the spark was. Uh, uh, a content creator that works on a Netflix show decided to use the song as part of their TikTok. You know what I mean? So like they were creating TikToks for their show's TikTok page. They used the song and that was the initial re-entry into people's minds. And then from there, people took it and started creating with it. And that's and so Justine had zero to do with it. But her, it would have never happened had she not been putting out music. You know what I'm saying? And so the same thing, I go back to K-Camp. If you weren't like a solid, solid K-Camp fan, I think from around 2016 to 2019, you would have thought he wasn't even releasing music. But the whole time, he kept putting out, and this is prior, me and him had already parted ways. We parted ways in 2015. But he was kept putting out music, 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 music. And then some little girl decided to do a dance to his latest song. K-Camp had nothing to do with it. Yeah. But he had everything to do with it because he was constantly putting it out there. You know what I mean? That's what artists had to understand. Like, magic does happen. Like, miracles do happen. Like, you put it out there, you never know what individual is going to take your song, create one piece of content to it that's going to change your life. And so that one uh, person that that show hired to make TikToks changed the scene life. And that one little girl that decided to make a dance to K Camp song changed K Camp life again. You know what I mean? And so it's like, it ain't always on you, you know what I mean? It's like, what, what is uh, religious, but it's like God will fight your battles. Like all you have to do is just be present. And then, you know, something to come along that'll bless you and just change your life. Yeah, I I like that because the idea of just continue to put the energy out there, Yeah, it sounds like abstract, <laughs> but it really does apply when you put those situations in there. And what, something that happened with us is, so at this point we've had Charlie D'Amelio posts, yeah, maybe four or five times, never paid her. Right? That's crazy. Yeah, and the first time was completely accident, but the next few times there was we we had some strategies and kind of like how to increase the possibility. But the first time, what happened was we had this song on TikTok. This is like 2019, um, and we're working it. It starts to take off. And it gets to around 10,000 videos. Artist budget runs out, right? The next song, Charlie D'Amelio finds it before we even really do anything. But yeah. she discover there through the first song. Yeah. So she never posted to that first to song. The first one. Now you have that person in your vicinity. Yeah. Right? And consuming your, like Justine, right? She wasn't pushing that song anymore. Yeah. But years later, someone went down the rabbit hole of Justine because they might have found They out. probably found a new song and was like, well, what else does she have? Right. And so yeah. you never know. And it, it, it really, again, it sounds like this abstract thing, but it really is practical as yeah. long as, you know, you keep putting energy out there and, you know, for hopefully you have ownership of that stuff. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. That's another, that's another piece to it. Like, you know, when she put that song out, she was on Atlantic. But when she left Atlantic, her mother's an entertainment lawyer. So when she left Atlantic, her mother was able to get those masters back. Nice. Yeah, so so she owns that song, and so every stream, Justine's pocket. That's beautiful. Yeah. 